Hey guys, today I'm going to do some chicken legs in the slow cooker. So let's get cracking. I've got some rosy, the organic chicken legs here. Um, these are marked down. These are four dollars off. So I got these for a dollar sixty-three. They would have been five sixty-three normally. They're normally three ninety-nine a pound. I usually don't buy uh, organic chicken very often for that reason because it's expensive. But if I can get a deal on it, I actually like it better than regular chicken. I think it just has a better flavor. Um, so I'm just going to keep this real simple. All I'm going to do is season them with some of this Kinder's Mild Barbecue Rub. But you can season these any way you like. You can use salt and pepper, or seasoned salt, or chicken seasoning. Like I said, just whatever you like. This works pretty good, so that's what I'm going to go with today. And I'm just going to put them in a dry slow cooker. Those fit perfectly in the bottom of the slow cooker, and I'm not adding any liquid. That's a perfect amount for me. It's been over a year already since my wife died. Anyway, we'll get the lid on there. Now I'm going to cook these for two hours on high. This cooked on high for two hours and it's been in the pot on warm for another half an hour. So let's take the lid off and see how it looks. That looks pretty good to me. Let me grab a plate and we'll try it out. All right, let's see how these look. The chicken usually comes out nice and juicy, but the skin usually doesn't get crispy. So that's usually the only bad thing about slow cooker chicken. But you can see it's real tender and it's juicy just falling off the bone there. So, um, let me try a bite. It turned out good. Some people say they'll put it in the oven under the broiler for a few minutes to get the skin crispier. So that's something you could do if you wanted to. Andy the taste test dog showed up. I'll give her a piece of skin. I'll see if she likes the skin. You want some skin, Annie? <laughs> well, she likes that skin. It wasn't quite crispy enough for me, but she liked it. So that cooked for two hours on high, and I think that was just about right. But if you use more chicken, like if you fill the pot up, you might have to add an extra hour cooking time. Or if you use frozen chicken. I've done that a few times as well. And that works good, but you usually have to add an extra hour for that as well. But um, I have done the frozen chicken, and that does work out pretty good too. Anyway, thanks for watching. Talk to you guys next time.